Tiffany's Chronicles, Courtney Strawberry Tone. Hi, I'm Nurse Tiffany. I love helping mommies and daddies take care of their sick babies. I have been a nurse for over 15 years. Seeing sick babies makes me sad, so I like to do my best to help them feel better. Today, I saw Courtney and her father in the pediatrician's office. Pediatrician is a fancy adult way to say doctor for children. When I walked into the room, I saw Courtney's sad face. She is usually happy and bubbly when I see her. What's wrong, Courtney? She stuck out her tongue. It was swollen and bumpy. Oh my, I exclaimed. You have what we call strawberry tongue. Does it hurt? Courtney nodded her head yes. What else is going on, Dad? I asked Courtney's father. She's had a fever. Her hands and feet seem to be swollen and her skin seems to be peeling. Oh no, I'm sorry you aren't feeling well, Courtney. Let's see if we can find out why you're hurting so we can make you all better, okay? Courtney nodded her head yes. Dad, let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Courtney's dad agreed. She's been a patient here since she was born, so I know she's had all of her vaccinations. I'm also aware that Courtney can talk and move around like the other boys and girls her age. I love to dance, Courtney added sadly. Yes, I remember, I smiled. But Dad, did she fall and hit her head recently? Or has her diet changed? She has not fallen, nor had any new foods. Courtney, does this hurt? I turned Courtney's head to the right and to the left. What about this, I asked, moving both arms in a complete circle. That doesn't hurt either. Does she have any other symptoms, Dad? She's been grumpy. She is not our happy Courtney her mother and I are used to. I used my stethoscope to listen to Courtney's heart. A stethoscope? is a tool doctors and nurses use to hear the sounds the insides of our bodies make. The sounds around her heart were normal. I heard the heartbeat sound, dup, dup. Holding the stethoscope to her chest, I asked her, please breathe in deep, as deep as you can, then let it out. I moved my stethoscope to her back saying, breathe in really deep for me one more time. She did. Her breathing sounds were clear and normal. Let's run a few tests. I need to draw blood from your arm, Courtney. It will sting a little bit, but your dad is here to hold your hand. It's okay if you don't want to watch, then I will get an EKG. That's where I put small circles and wires on your chest. They will draw a picture of how your heart is moving. You won't feel a thing. Based on her strawberry tongue, which is swollen and bumpy, without Courtney eating new foods in her clear airways, the route fresh air uses to get into her body, she may have one of three ailments, I said having results. The first is Rye syndrome, which is a rare but serious condition that causes swelling in the liver and brain. It most often affects children and teenagers recovering from a viral infection, such as the flu or chicken pox. But Courtney, you have not had any infections, nor are you having seizures, which can make your whole body shake. Second is scarlet fever. With that, the skin on your whole body would be red. That leaves us with Kawasaki disease. And some people call it Kawasaki syndrome. It is found in children under five years old and is characterized by all of Courtney's symptoms. Hakakawa? Courtney tried to say it, but could not. Kawasaki. I helped her out. Kawasaki? She repeated. That's correct, I cheered. What will we do? 
Courtney's dad asked. Courtney will need to go to a hospital. There, they will give her gamma globulins, proteins, to help the body fight infections through the veins in her arm. She will also take aspirin, medicine for headaches, to bring down the puffiness in her tongue, hands, and feet. Thank you so much, Nurse Tiffany. Now we know how to make Courtney feel better. The end. I'm not Tiffany. When I'm not